Okay guys, thanks for joining me on an island tour. Um, we're headed to Katie's Island uh, called Opal Shore and she is uh, a bit of an Instagram legend and we've been in touch and chatting a bit and she's lovely. So yeah, we're just, we're going to head on over to hers um, and show you all the magic. Okay, so what is this flyover? Oh my god, the path looks incredible here. I can't wait to dive in and really examine it from all corners. But my god, it's all such a fairy wonderland. Okay, guys, so we're at the beautiful Opal Shore, um, home of Katie, katie.acnh on Instagram. And she just has the most magical fairyland ever. And you'll see she's got the fairy version of the path and honestly, I think it was made for her. And she's shown me a couple of spots I should um, not miss, but I'm on my own here, so bear with me as I kind of wander about. So we're gonna go over this little bridge. I love this. Um, already you see this beautiful use of the path and these little fairy circles, butterfly models, and all these little ducks. Sweet painting area. You know I love some painting. Just beautiful. I love all the foliage and the greenery everywhere and the terraforming all around. Okay, which way should we go? Let's go this way. Oh, what a sweet little house. I think that's Diana. I love that she's got this little sledge. Sleigh. It's not sledge. Okay, I think I'm actually meant to go this way. So coming on over here, I love all the detail she has everywhere with the spinning wheel and the lamp and the mushroom, parasol over there. There's just so much thought behind every area. And this sweet little bench that you can just chill out at. So, so gorgeous just experience it yeah that's beautiful um, and then over here got a nice little signpost so you know there's some directional stuff going on um, I'll wander into here and oh it's the most it's the cutest little witches area so there's like this chemistry set here and the street organ all different types of flowers. I love this fortune telling set here as well. Just so cute. And look at the sky. All right, and then over here, which way should we go? wind along here. Oh, so then you get to the beach. So cute. I love all these little waterfalls. She's got such good pattern mixing. It's like, I wouldn't ever think to put those two patterns together, but that's beautiful. Yeah, some hammock time. Alright, and then continuing along the beach. I mean, who would ever have th thought to use this fairy path on the beach? It just looks like a fairy flew across this beach and just left fairy dust behind. It's so beautiful. And then now we're back on the main path where I think where we were before was right here. Perfect. So we'll head back over and this is 
cute little town square. I love that it's a rustic town square off the actual town square. And um, just these mushrooms around and these flowers. It's like organized but still kind of um, very natural and organic. So pretty. And over here on this path that just connected from there, just such a nice winding path. I mean, this, the path is just ridiculous. Oh, this tree bounties lamp, it's so cute. Someone's gifted it to me, but I don't know how to use it yet, so I'll have to take some tips. Ooh. Well, look at this with that massive stone arch and the massive mushroom parasol. It's just just creates such um, nice dimensions with that waterfall in the background. Let's wander on back through here. I love the kind of spooky vibes with the dark flowers and the gravestone. And yet it's still so pretty. Coco. I thought it was Coco. She's on my island too. I'm not going to meet her here because she's going to say she doesn't know me and that will break my heart. So we've got a fork in the road, guys. Which way should we go first? Let's go this way. Um, so we can wind up this path. And, oh, it's just such a pretty little spot. We have a gnome over here. And all these purple flowers. Oh, this bug. I've not seen this bug before. So cool. It really matches the vibe of this island. I'm not gonna go over there yet because I think there's more to see over here. I'll come back. Um, and then hop on over. And I love this little spot. A pillow on a pillow. That's so clever. Just what gorgeous colors. And then over on this side, what does what does Open Shore have in store for us? Ah, just oh my gosh, look at that sunset. Um, so we've got pretty little weeds and purple flowers all over the place. Just love all the details and the decoration she has on these uh, higher levels. And this cute little witchy uh, beach towel. So gorgeous. And so we're just here. Let's wind over on this side. Another great bench. She uses these so well. Like they just fit in so naturally. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> and... Oh my gosh, just like, everything is magical. And this little spot, this little writing spot with everything in the green. That's so cute. Little ukulele. Come on, bud. And then a wedding spot. Um, I love it. And it's all green, which is very on theme for Katie. I mean, that cake looks so tasty. And over here, a little chill site. I don't know how she's managed to use this straw fencing and make it look so good. Like, I just, when I first saw it, I thought, nah. I don't think I even downloaded it. But it looks so good here with this house that's got that um, that light roof and this hay bed. Just some good farm vibes. Like, look at this pretty little purple farm. So cute. Winding along the beach some more. Another arch. Little. Oh, I love this beach setup. It's so whimsical. And just so many things you wouldn't naturally think to put together, like the shell lamp, and this brolly, and the anchor, and the butterflies. 
And this is where we were in the beginning. Excellent. So we won our way back. So over here again. Ah, oh, hello Mr. Gnome. Looks like he's just picking those flowers. Okay, so back on over here. Oh, I love all the water skating. So pretty. Back on over here. Just such gorgeous pathways. So we were there before. Um, I need to make my way back to where we were going with the big climb. So of course I've lost my way. You know I was just here. Here we are. So up here, I mean look at that view, that is incredible. Yeah. Uh, this is her house. Oh, what a cute little setup. I love the clothesline, such a good item, and the bike so she's ready to commute whenever she needs to. The lamp over here, and these pretty blue and purple flowers. Um, she said that her house is under renovation, but her upper floor is the one to see. So we'll just sneak by everything. I mean, how is this a work in progress? Because, oh my god, that's so beautiful. I love that wallpaper. But I will respect her wishes and just head up. Ooh, what a vibe. Ah, these leaves indoors. That's such a good touch. Alright, so over here we've got an area full of mom's art. So cute. A little witchy desk area. That massive peach. I mean, that's got to be magic. So just don't come that big. And over here, oof, this, ooh, it look, it's such a good vibe with the fireplace here, and all these flowers, okay, yeah, thanks, thanks for letting me come here, Katie, hi, mister, all right, so that's the mini house tour. I'm sure there will be beautiful photos of the rest of the house in due course. So I'll head back down now. Um, where are we? You're here. Houses. Look at all those flowers over there. Just sea of hyacinths. Such a good use of the silo, bonsai shell. Oh, hybrid flowers. I'm doing some careful running, Katie. Don't, don't worry. The waterfall next to it. It's so, so pretty. You can just sit on this bench, hang out with the bees and the flowers and the scarecrow. Love it. Oh, hi, Kiki. Oh, oh, am I allowed to go? No? Okay, Kiki. Yeah, you're gonna fly somewhere else? Alright. I've, I've heard your message. Okay, okay. Thanks, Kiki. Okay, and then this little gardening area. I love it. It's a little garden center. But a magical one, obviously. So we've got these blue hyacinth lamps that just look so surreal. With all these layers of trees behind. So pretty. And this bit of waterfall up here. Oh, a little tiny little reading nook area. I love it. 
And up here is the museum. Okay, is it just me or does this water look like a butterfly? Is it meant to look like a butterfly? I'll ask Katie later. But this is exceptional. Let's get an overhead top. That's a butterfly, right? Yeah, that's amazing. What an entrance. Over here. Just such good use of flowers. She's got kind of slightly different themes in different parts, but it all flows together so naturally. I'll just hop on over here because I think there's a little cafe. Whoop. Yeah. I don't know what drinks they would sell on this fairy land. Maybe like just fairy dust tea and pollen and coffee or something. Everything would glitter. Purple. Purple drinks. Like those unicorn frappuccinos at Starbucks. You know, Starbucks is not good, kids. A little winding spot next to Nooks. And over here. Just such a nice path over there. Alright, so heading back down. Such a sweet little Abel's. Oh, you've got, got a little closet here. Oh, I didn't mean to spy. Um, just a little closet here where you can find all the goods. That is so cute. And over here, I don't think I've been here. So this is a little neighborhood. Hi, who are you? Tangy. Tangy, your little leaf head is so cute. I love this little pathway you have between them so it's nice how it's a little neighborhood but there's space between them so they all can have their own um, yards and it feels natural. Eric, you're, you're a nice little chap aren't you? I'm not spying kid. Insulting really. So this must be his house. Oh I love all these little setups. So he's, he does a bit of construction, I think. And some washing up of his clothes. Good man, good man. You gotta be self-sufficient. Oh, what a nice little neighborhood. And this little gnome. Can I help over here? Oh, so this is such a cute little spot. Let's take a pick. <laughs> hidden with Eric popping out there oh so pretty let's wind back over this is a little hidden spot over here oh no it's a very open spot we've been there before. Ah, oh, Katie, I knew I'd get lost. It's okay. This is all about adventure. Nox, I love the use of this bamboo that's been cut down. It's so clever. It's a nice use of space. The secret, secret path. Is, oh my god, hop, 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 hop. Yeah. I mean, what a secret beach, right? Like, a little bit of magic path over there, some little flowers, this painting. Do you think it's been sold or they're ready to sell it back to Red? But I love this old route. 
put so in the court that it fits the very thing. I feel like you can fly in while you're hopping around. So cute. Along with this bridge. Just everything is just so um what's another word for magical? Ethereal. Let's go with that. Another little neighborhood. I love how um, she's got all these little neighborhoods, but they feel very natural uh, and spread out. So it's kind of clustered and it keeps them like they all have neighbors, which is nice, but they don't have to be all penned in together, all squished, squished up. Oh, hello. So many cats on Opal Shore. It's a cat from the area. No dogs, I noticed. This little campsite, so cute, with all this water behind it. It's a winding water path. Let me finish this area before hopping over there. Ooh, picnic and some infused water. I'm pretty thirsty, so that sounds amazing. And this cute picnic bench. I'll go around this side. Oof. Yeah, take a load off there. And then let's wander over to that house. I love this terraforming. It's like a spirally terraforming. You just get such um, such nice pieces of water all around. house over here. Oh, and then these are amazing fairy ponds. So this is like, I mean, if, if, if an area is made for Instagram, it's this. Um, let's get a shot. So pretty. They just feel like so organic um, and like free flowing but it's just like you want to run through them and hop across them. Ooh. Statue there. Oh, hello, Moon. It's beautiful. Run across there? Nope. Terraform is his mood. Over here, stars. Up. So we're gonna head on up here. Hanging up next to the moon with a moon behind it. I love a double moon. And there's this cute little um, fortune telling area. Maybe all the astrologers hang out here. Smell some nice incense. Look at the stars. Oh, so pretty. I mean, I'm meant to be touring, not taking photos, but it's too good an opportunity not to. She's got such good custom codes, it's ridiculous. Don't know how she fits them all in, especially given she has the path, which is like a bazillion on its own. Um, I know, I know, we'll all talk about positioning Nintendo for most slots, but we all feel it. I have to head down to that beach later on. Just love this fairy area so much. So pretty. Oh, and then that winds all the way through. I love it. Oop, doubling around. Okay, so what is the next part? That is a good question. Maybe we head down. Do we wind along here? Yeah. Ooh, 
who's got this beachside villa? Amazing. I love these little paths. And this little, oh, this sweet little garden with all the different types of flowers. I mean, this is just cat. This is just a cat sanctuary, really. Plus Eric. <laughs> just cats and Eric. Another picnic spot. And, ooh, and another picnic spot. Oh, I like this one because you're probably you're eating some dumplings, I think, from that bamboo um, steamer and having some water. Maybe there's some sushi in that little bamboo lunchbox. Yum. What's over here? A little fishing spot where you get your stuff for the sushi. I like it. Ooh. I've never managed to know how to use these fences, but of course Katie does. Katie knows everything, really. A green bathtub, I love it. It just camouflages into the island so well. Ah! Oh, it's a shark! I'm gonna have to tell Katie to come fish. I feel bad stealing your shark. This bathtub, so cool. I love how even in the beach area she's got secret bits of terraforming and waterscaping that you might not notice but just like gives it such um, like such a strong impact. Casual Stonehenge on some stones, that makes sense. Wine through here. Oof, massive butterflies. Flick likes her, that's what I think. Such um, such nice vibes all the way through the beach because it just feels so calming and I love the little weeds. It makes it feel a little bit overgrown but not like completely taken over by nature. Okay, I think that's... Ooh, message. Can't take someone's DIY, that is definitely not okay. And then this little beach area. Oh, wedding bench. I mean, okay. I have this and I just thought it does not fit anywhere. It's so big, it's so clunky, and then of course Katie's figured that out. Um, and yeah, so we were in this beachy area before. So I think that, I think that's all of her island, am I right? I mean that was ginormous, such a big space that I feel like we've wandered through. Just so, so beautiful. And so yeah, I think that's, that's it. I'm really sad to go, I think that's part of why I'm just like faffing around before leaving. But yeah, thank you Katie so much for this tour. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, this little magical wonderland. And of course there's a firefly floating in the background. Um, so yeah, thanks.